later today, we're getting down to the nitty gritty of Paul's letter to Titus. We're going to see exactly what the gospel is and how it is the power to transform individuals and then whole societies. And so, first of all, we see that it's a, it's, it's a story, it's a narrative, it's, it's the true story, a story of truth that's got a past, a present and a future. Uh, so, uh, 2 verse 11, the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. Uh, there's the past. In the past, for, for, uh, in Titus' day, Jesus has come. He has appeared as the embodiment of God's salvation. Jesus has come and he's died and he's risen again. That's in the past. And that offers salvation to all people who will believe in Jesus. And so the present, uh, it teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright and godly lives in this present age. Uh, so uh, the, what Jesus does in the past the truth about that, it teaches us now to be able to say no to the ways the culture around us is not like God and instead to live self-controlled, godly and upright lives, to, to be like God in the way we live. And there's the future. That's while we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. That Jesus is coming back. He, he appeared once and he will appear again in full glory. And at that point, we will be seen by everyone to be children of God if we're those who have trusted in Jesus. Uh, all, all of our sin will be, will be removed completely. We'll, we'll have new bodies and we'll have renewed minds. We will be completely perfect and, and, and able to live with God forever. That's what we, we will be in the future. So the past, what Jesus has done, and the future, what we will be in the gap in between in the present knowing what Jesus has done and what we will be we have the power to say no to ungodliness and to live godly lives and the power is all based on what Jesus did because we're told that our saviour Jesus Christ who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own eager to do what is good. So the significance of what Jesus did in his life and death and resurrection is, is redeem us. It's a technical word that, that's from, from, from the world of slavery. Uh, a slave could be redeemed by a price being paid for them. So they came out from under their old master and, and they were given the, the, the freedom of, of living uh, away from that that the Christians in Crete were enslaved to, to living like everyone else around them, un under God's anger for their sin. And, and Jesus' death on the cross paid the price that, that would remove them out of that and bring them to live in the freedom of being children of God, able to please God in their lives. And we get the purpose why Jesus did that, to make for himself a people that are his very own, those who will belong to Jesus and who will live like Jesus, eager to do what is good. The knowledge of the truth leads to godliness because knowing the truth about Jesus tells us that he's done everything that's needed to make us godly. It's a story that has a past that tells us that he's done everything and a future that tells us what we certainly will be like, a sure hope. And that's everything we need that in the moment now, Every time we have a decision to make of how to act, to say no to the way that we know doesn't match up with the truth about Jesus and to live godly lives. Let me pray we'd do that. Father, we thank you that Jesus has redeemed us from a world of ungodliness, of being under your anger at our sin, and that instead he's made us his own people, your children, eager to do what is good, our Father, we thank you that we look forward to being uh, perfectly your children on the day that Jesus returns again and, and takes away everything that is bad from us and makes us completely new. And we ask, Father, that, that that knowledge would be our power and our motivation in the present to choose to say no to those things that we know are ungodly and instead to live godly, righteous and upright lives. For that's who Jesus has made us to be. We pray it in his name. Amen.
Good to see you again. Thanks for listening. Hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care. God bless. Thank you.